going to talk a little bit about CBCT or three-dimensional imaging used in dentistry. CBCT stands for Cone Beam Computed Topography. Uh, that's kind of a mouthful, but it's similar to what you would go to the hospital and have a CT done. Uh, a cone beam CT is one that we use in a dental office to get a three-dimensional view of the patient's jaws, teeth. Uh, you can really visualize a whole lot when you're using a three-dimensional technology. So not to get super nerdy about CTs or cone beam CTs, but maybe just a little bit. Is that okay? That's okay. So with a traditional CT, it's taking many, many, many thin slices or images in a dimension. And then it uses many, many, many thin slices to put all of those images together into a three-dimensional image. So just visualize, I had one sheet of paper. If I had 100 sheets of paper, I'd have a th three dimensions. So that's how CT imaging work. Cone beam CT is very similar, but with a cone beam CT, it's actually a significantly less amount of radiation because rather than doing thin slices, the radiation goes out in a, a volumetric cone and then it uses even more super complicated scientific math algorithms and puts all of these images that it takes together to form a 3D view of whatever uh, it is that you're taking an image of. So with a cone beam CT, you get a lot of advantages. A traditional CT usually takes anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes to take. A cone beam CT can be done in less than 40 seconds. Um, and likewise, the amount of radiation is significantly less with the cone beam in almost to the degree of, of how quickly it takes you to, to obtain that image you're often able to diagnose things that you typically wouldn't be able to. Many times I'm, I'm able to diagnose and I, I kind of know what's going on in that area, but there may be other things on this, the cone beam CT that I didn't see. So we print off a report, we get a report back and we print that off and we, we give that to our patients. You know, if there's, if there's anything other than what we were looking for that day in that CT, cone beam CT, you know, it's, it's also on that report and I'm able to discuss that with that patient. Hey, I know you came in here for this, but this is actually also another finding uh, from us having this, this three-dimensional scan of your jaw reviewed. So, cone beam CTs are great in dentistry. Uh, they take very little time, they give you a lot of detail, and uh, it really does uh, change the way that we practice dentistry. It allows you to do things a lot more predictably and safe. So. Thanks for watching this video about cone beam CTs. I hope I didn't bore you too much or get too nerdy in there with it, but it's a lot of tiny images, a lot of super complicated math, and it gives a cool three-dimensional image that you can use.